Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and welcome to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. This tutorial will be covering uh, different types of treasure chests. Uh, what I mean by that is, as you can see here, we have a treasure chest that's up on a cliff here, but it's against the corner, which normally would allow you to open it even if you're not up here. I'm going to show you a small little trick to avoid that. And then we have these special chests here, uh, which are locked until, well, they're technically see through. Let me show you. As you can see here, we cannot access it at all. It's sealed by a strange power. Kind of a cartoon reference a little bit. Anyways, how we're going to stop this chest from being accessed down here is quite simple. So then what you want to do is make a, make a little player touch event at the bottom of the stairs. And we're going to do control switches. We're going to make a, a switch called layer. And we're going to turn it off at the bottom of the stairs. Copy and paste that to the top of the stairs here. And then instead of off, we're going to turn it on. Now, you can have the the event work only if you're facing a certain direction if you want but I'm doing it this way so in here what you want to do is you want to right click click on new right click on the word uh, chest right here for the sound effect and click new so you're making a conditional branch at the very top of the um, event here and we're going to we're going to check and see if layer is on check the else branch as well select all this by clicking the sound effect part and holding shift and then clicking at the bottom uh, hold Control and press X to cut it, and then in the layer on part, you're going to paste that. So now, if you're up on the cliff, the chest is going to open. Else, it's going to say some sort of text. It's going to say, you see a chest, but you can't reach it. <laughs> but you're still hungry. No. Um, try to check a reference again. Alright, so now when you play test it, you'll see, you see a chest, but you can't reach it. Let's go here. Hi! Yay! We got it! So, um, yeah, that's how you do that. Now this chest, however, as you can see, it's sealed. What we're going to do for this one is, when you use a certain item, it unlocks all of these types of chests uh, in the game. So let's say you have, like, two or three of them. So we're going to make an item called Unseal Level 1. Uh, this is going to unseal these chests. Now you can, uh, follow, you can follow up with this kind of method to make higher level sealed chests that you can unlock as you go through the game and whatnot to um, allow for the character to backtrack if you wanted to collect the items that he's seen early game, um, up to you. But if you're gonna do uh, something like where you want the, uh, the player to backtrack for items and stuff, at least make it work, please. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna make an unseal item. And it's going to look like this, because it unlocks the black chests. Unlocks. Unseals black chests. Consumable, yes, because you only need to use it once. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to other. We're gonna we're gonna select a common event, so that when you use it, uh, it unlocks it in the common event. We're gonna only allow it in the menu screen. Uh, select none as the scope. And in the common events, we're going to name the event that we just selected. In this case, it was one. Unlock level one. And now it's going to be none, the trigger is going to be none, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say all black chests have been unlocked. And then we're simply going to turn a switch on. You're going to make a new switch, it's going to be called chest, or see chest one for this example. Um, click OK. And now here's how the treasure chests are set up. So on the very first layer, you have um, just text, and it says the chest is sealed by a strange power. You also have the frequency to highest and the move route set to a custom. And then click on route. And then you're going to click on blend mode and you're going to select screen. Or if you don't have that, if you're using the uh, older version of RPG Maker MB, then you can just select add, uh, additive. Next, you want to make a new event page by clicking up here. And you can set up your uh, chest event here. You can copy and paste how it works from another one if you wanted to. All up to you. And, but this time, it's just like a regular chest, however, you have the switch checked, chest 1. Meaning, when you use the black chest unlocker thingy that we just made, it'll unlock this chest, and you'll be able to see it, and it won't be hollow. Now, if it is um, still transparent looking, then what you can do is change the frequency to highest, set move route to custom, and then just select uh, blend mode normal. Next is the, uh, the regular cell switch A mode here after the chest has been opened. So then, let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest here, and let's go ahead and try that. Click uh, event here, treasure, be an item, 
get our new item here. All right, then. So let's test this out. Chests have been unlocked, and there they go. They are no longer transparent, and you can open them. Yay! So yeah, this is a very, very cool uh, technique that you can have, like, early game. Uh, players can see certain other treasure chests, uh, but they won't be able to open them until probably much later on in the game, depending on however you want to make that. And if you do do it that way, please make it proper. Like, don't make the player backtrack for a um, measly $500 or something. Like, you know, make, make the items worth having. But yeah, that's all for now, and I'll, I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.